Hello everybody, my name is Karibro, welcome back to another edition of uh, Fire Emblem Echo Shadows of Valentia Blind. I got a tip in the comments that should hopefully make for some of these uh, rando battles and ambushes and such go a little bit faster. And I'm going to test it out right now as soon as I figure out what the best move for this Read is going to be. Got to get Paula back. Ah, da, 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 da. So that's the range of everybody. This archer, Leon's not close enough to be able to counter him. I'm ready for anything. Uh, let's have Celica move up a little bit. I guess she could actually probably switch her weapon now. We have a brave sword to work with. It, I, I, is, is he done? The blessed sword only has one rank, does it? Huh? Or, or maybe, maybe it doesn't have any rank because I didn't. Okay, if that's the case, then... Yeah, okay, Celica does not have anything with the Iron Sword yet, but we can do this. This being move her forward, we'll have Saber do the convoy, and we'll have him grab the Brave Sword. Swap, there we go, there's arts I can learn out of this, and it is not such a crazy high crit rate anymore. No, wait, it is, because the Brave Sword is specifically critical hit. Saber is still going to be the patron god of swords. All right. Um, Angel Ring isn't something that I want on Valbar anymore. I would like to give him a weapon so that he can be doing some damage. Who has my Javelin? You have the Javelin. Paula, give me that Javelin. But then where am I gonna put the Angel Ring? You're good with the Blessed Ring. Do I want to give it back to Atlas? I think I might want to give it back to Atlas. I'll mow him down. But I also want Atlas to be in the fight, and he's currently just working in the desert, so we'll gotta move him over here a little bit. Valbar can't get to him yet. Okay, there's gonna have to be some item management going on here, but this one comes first. Items trade with Pala to get that javelin so you can do some long range shoe sting. Your service. Catria, just start tempting them over towards this direction. Bowie, back up as well. May, you can move forward because you need to do something, anything to get a level here. Leon still just hangs out in the back. Cool. Once again, not sure what's up with the frame rate just randomly dropping on my software. Maybe it has something to do with some of the other things I'm running on my computer. One second. So yeah, no, I, I don't know if anybody else is catching that or if it's just me looking at it, but the frame rate drops every now and then, and I don't know why, and I can't figure out why. There's something weird going on with the software. Um, Genny can't do anything. Okay, good. Nobody can attack me this turn, so I still can't show off the trick. Everybody can move up. They're all in the desert, too, so this is gonna take a while. <sighs> You've got the angel ring, let's give that. Back to Atlas, like so. Has a speed of seven, has a speed of... You're only ever going to attack once, Valbar. I'm okay with this. Bowie, 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 Bowie. Useless there. Atlas can move over towards the road. Saber, just be around, I guess, lingering. Celica, somewhere nearby here for healing duties. Genny, same deal. He'll just be up here to work on supports. I guess I should aim for uh, for the same thing over on this team now, too, that I was on Alms, right? All of my non-promoted units, I should aim for level 10. Which means uh, that doesn't count Valbar. Genny's already 10. May is 10. Katria needs to get there. And Atlas needs to get there. And I don't care about Bowie and Paula. Okay, so these two are going to be the focus this round. And May, yep. Just as long as you, uh, you punch somebody. That guy's a somebody. Nah, I'll wait. I'll hold off. Cool, be there. Catria can move up. And we're good. Ah, oh, the movements are so slow. Bowie, walk back. 
Pala move over to support Katria. Okay. So that's a heavy hit, but it's not the kill that I want. However, if I get May to start with a thunder, I can turn it into the kill that I want. Do it from over here so that people are less, less likely to come and kill you. I meant to do the thing and I forgot to do the thing. Hey, do I seem stronger <laughs> to you? I do, right? Even the mages over here get better levels than alms. That's a three. <laughs> Okay, so I was told that if you hold the L button, you can skip the combat animation. So, yeah, it totally works! Huzzah! I don't want to turn off combat animations because I love having them on for, like, heavy, intense fights or stuff where I'm, like, really worried about stuff. But for things like this where the fights don't matter, I should be holding down L all the time. This should make these go way faster. Uh, move Katria up a little bit. Let's get Valbar down sort of in the thick of things here. I'd still like to get him some levels. Mui can just be around. Leon support Valbar. Saber be around. Genny can white magic recover on... Should have done it again. You're the best. Now the thing is it's going to take me a while to develop the habit. And I don't want to uh, have it be a habit at all times. Nice, you get a double these guys. This is excellent. Yeah, like, I, I don't want it to develop into a habit that I end up skipping things uh, on instinct, because I like the animations, that's why I don't turn them off. Uh, let's get Valbar Waltzing over here. This magic guy is who I'm kind of worried about, so I might have Leon attack just to take him out of the picture. And yet, I can't do enough damage to him. You got a super high crit rate, though. So maybe if I attack from up here. Or just in general, like, as far away from the battle as possible. 12 and a miss. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba -bum. Bowie still just exists. We'll have... Who was the other one that needed it? Katria? Oh, Atlas is the one that needs it more, though. So we'll have him attack this guy for the kill. Excellent. He's going to catch up real fast. The heck did that come from? It's not going to get a whole lot of great levels, though. So from the last fight in this one, we got a 4-1-4-1. <laughs> I think that averages out to two and a half stats per level. Um, okay, let's have Katria descend upon you for the next round. It's not much damage, but it's a something. Now, tell me this archer doesn't have anti-flying or else I'm in trouble. Good. So, May's already at 11. I might have Bowie move up and start attacking things, just that he's not, like, falling so crazy far behind. But no, that's more kills that I can be feeding to my proper units. Scratch that, take it back. Give May all the XP. Nice. And I was holding L there, but apparently not uh, early enough. So you. Ignoring Pala, Kamui, and Saber for the time being. Although I guess I don't really need to ignore Saber. It's preferable to give the uh, kills to other people, but I can have him up here and blocking things off. I don't mind if he attacks things because he's one of the ones I want to be getting XP. Well, with that, I think I just need to... Right, I needed to get Genny out of range of this archer. That's what the deal was. Physic on... Sure. Atlas does not have great defense. So I'm okay with keeping him uh, super healed. End the turn. I don't know why they go after Leon. They're always going to get themselves killed that way. And yet they just seem to flock to him. I am okay with this. Atlas is the one I wanted to focus on. <laughs> and he's not taking very much damage from them either. So, continue bringing it on. <laughs> and we got one Merc in the back. The rest of them are just bandits. The Merc's got good stats. I see, I see. 
So, you're at level 5. Valbar can probably step over and stab you. Good, that'll deal with him. Excellent. Now I can get uh, Celica XP through recoveries. Especially on the healers. Like, it seems like the healer levels are things I don't really need to watch, and I just keep forgetting to skip them. So May's got her level. Uh, Atlas just attacks somebody. With the crit, with the unnecessary crits. That's just, that's just the, the subtitle of this whole series. Only unnecessary crits. Uh, Katria is also worth fighting. But you're not gonna do much, so I'll just have Pala fly up to about here for the support. Have Katria come up. Give you a quick little stabby. Oh, you were the quote-unquote boss man of this area too, weren't you? With Silver Purse. Excellent. More Silva, always good. Uh, May can... Hmm. That'll kill. That'll kill. That won't kill. What do you say we throw Bowie a bone? Just give him one little thunder. One tiny little bandit to kill. Uh, Leon's still just hanging around. Genny can do her heal upon May. Recover. Great. Genny gets another level. Do healers just have crazy growths in this game? Genny with the more defense. Never gonna complain about that. The skill is only for crits. Useless to her as a healer. She might get an attack stat when she classes up. Speed means she won't be doubled, which is good. Luck means she won't be crit, which is good. I think. Or... Can you critically heal? I don't know. Anyways, I think she got her thing at uh, level 12, which means I'm gonna push for 15 before I class her up. Especially if she keeps getting levels like these. Anyways, end the turn. Oh, so this guy's doubling Atlas, and Atlas missed. That's a pain. There we go. That's a that's a more sturdy hit. But let's see what Atlas does. He would be doing eleven. So what about May? That'll take him down to eleven. That'll take him down to three. And Atlas might get a uh, get some XP off of that. So crit of eight, and crit of eight. I'll go with the higher uh, accuracy rating. Although I should also get some guys in here for uh, healing and in range of supports. You're a lifesaver. Oh, I didn't see experience go up on that. Is Celica not getting experience for healing anymore? That would be curious. Genny still is. Did I just miss it? Hmm. Anyways, aura him. Awesome. Now Atlas can give you a quick little stabby stab. Ah, oh, so close. So close. I wish they all went this smooth. But that's one more rando fight down, and that trick works it's stupendously, so thank you to the comments for giving me that tip. Because that should hopefully mean we don't get grogged down quite so much with these rando battles. Now, since we're already on Celica, let's go check out this place that we missed before, the Desert Stronghold Interior. Which houses, for us, a woman and some talking. If I had to describe my sister Est in a word, it'd be free. Which is ironic. Yeah, considering she's currently not. She, she, she's kidnapped and all you see. Did you guys remember that? I forgot it for a while, honestly. When the last war ended, she left the Order of Knights the next day. Said she was opening a shop with some boy she was fond of. She does what she wants and says what she wants and damn the consequences. There are times I envy her. Katria does seem like a bit, uh... 
of an upstrung type. The people at the castle really didn't recognize you, did they? Nope. I mean, Sophia Castle's basically your home, right? It was. What was it, 10, 12 years ago? I can't really wrap my head around that place being someone's home. <laughs> there are just five of us in my home, and it's packed to the gills. Being poor is rough sometimes, but we're all still quite close. I still don't know why you have such ornate dressings for a poor Greek man. didn't become King of Thieves by being a fool. He's a shrewd one. He's been sending to say bribes aplenty to escape justice for his deeds. And his men are no better. The Pirate Barth was one such, in fact. How do you know Pir the Pir Pirate King Barth is down? Has word traveled that I fast? there are still captives rotting away in his dungeons. Some have been there for years, poor souls. If there's any way you could help them. I will do what I can, but I imagine that means there's some captives we're gonna have to specifically try and escape or let out for side quest reasons. Also, somebody told me that there is a thing around here somewhere uh, to talk about side quests, but I can't seem to find it here. Like again, about holding the, the, the L button. Oh, I didn't know you could uh, zoom in with R. Hmm. Menu? Yeah, because it's not in the menu. Hmm. I might just be trying to find them in the wrong location here, so that could be on me. Anyways, uh, continue examining. Pick up them sweet, sweet drinking waters. Water would be one of the most precious resources in a place like this, in the desert, I understand that. Steel lance, thank you. Finally, another lance to be tossing around here. Because I've got uh, three units that need lances now. Valbar, Atlas, and Catria. Outside. The sun outside is relentless. Hmm. Broken tiles. Floor is a disaster. Damage in combat, perhaps. Okay, let's go to up here, the war room. There's another guy. Dean and Sonia are feared for their strength, even among Greeth's men. Dean was nothing. He down. Dean, he dead. master of the sword, is a flinty loner of a man. And Sonia is a deadly mage. Beautiful, though, if the rumors are true. They also say she was Regellian originally. Ooh, so maybe we dodged a bullet. By not going after the crazy strong mage. Take a look around. There's some flour. Food flour is always good. Supplies. A more useless pile of junk I've never seen in my life. A steel bow for Python. Not Python. Leon. <laughs> Yogurt. That's probably gone very bad. Dried meat is good, though. A Rion shield? This is the thing for the guy. For the side quest. X oh, and here's a splitting axe. We didn't have to send Alm's axe. Damn it. I wasted that, uh, that chance to send something. Okay, well, nothing else here. To the dungeon! Where somebody is locked up. Well, I will talk to them in a moment as soon as I look around. Dried meat, hard bread. Never seen so much sand in all my days. This looks suspiciously like the dungeon that Alm was at. <laughs> Anybody else put that together? The dungeons share a similar design. Open the door, and we'll talk first. Mercenary! Hey! There's another merc here. Whew! You really saved the day. Jesse. Thanks a million. Name's Jesse, by the by. I'm just your average garden variety merc. You sound like you're... You sound like you're playing yourself down because you think super high of yourself. I don't like you already. So I spotted this girl at the port of Zofia. Real cute, you know? Anyway, then I hear she's about to get sold off as a slave. You believe that? You came here to try to save Est. Well, I don't let ladies get sold into slavery on my watch. No, sir. So I up and chased after her and wound up getting caught. Turns out trying to take on a group of slavers single-handed is a terrible idea. You don't say. So you're full of yourself and an idiot. Anyway, that's my story. What's yours? You're all traveling together, yeah? The two do kind of go hand in hand. Looks like a real fun group. Don't suppose you got room for one more? Sure, why not? I could always use more people to watch my back lines and not get any kills Jesse, whatsoever. You're familiar <laughs> with this area, are you not? We're headed to Greeth's Citadel, and the way seems perilous. Could we ask you to guide us there? Sure. Greeth's Citadel? 
Uh, look, you seem <laughs> smart and capable and all, but I wouldn't recommend it. His payroll's a veritable who's who of Zofia's nastiest thugs. I already took out one of them, though. And no matter how tough you are, I don't like those odds. You don't have to come with. But there must be some way. Hmm. Maybe ask the deliverance? They're nuts. They might be up for it. Yeah, about that. They chased off to say, didn't they? Which is actually pretty impressive. The Deliverance Force marches west to the border to fight the Regalian army. Do they now? Well, that's optimistic. <laughs> Guess that means you're out of luck. Nah, nah, we'll do it. Oh, come on. Don't give me that look. <laughs> that is a look. Look at that look. <laughs> damsel in distress type slay me. Just break my heart. I mean, not that you're a damsel or anything, <laughs> but... Hmm. Well, I suppose there is one thing you might try. An actual tip might be good, yeah. And what's that? Dean and Sonia. Oh. Two of Greeth's best. I already knew about them. They're a tough lot. But it's not loyalty that keeps them in Greeth's service. Ooh. I don't know the specifics, but it's clear they have their own ambitions. They guard his citadel from the north and south ends of the desert. Break through one, and you'll have a clear path to move on Greeth. Whichever you fight, the other won't go out of their way to chase you down. Okay. Uh... Probably. That she, it did say that Sonya retreated. Was it Sonya? Maybe I'm thinking of FE7 again. Hey, hold on. Like I said, going up against Greeth's entire force at once is suicide. But knock out Dean or Sonya and Sonya. focus on Greeth and his men at the Citadel. Well then, you might just have yourself a chance. Already on that path, but thanks. And if you're wrong and they chase us down while swearing bloody revenge? Yoza. <laughs> yeah, in that case, I'm guessing you're probably dead. The fact you've worked as a mercenary <laughs> this long staggers the imagination. Shut up, Bowie. Just get get to the back of the army. You weren't even supposed to follow us in here. Oh shucks, you little flatterer. That's sweet of you to say. Look, your ultimate goal is getting to the Temple of Mela, right? How do you know? So this thing with grief is just a bit of what? Community service? I didn't tell you that. That's admirable. But think long and hard before you make the trip. <sighs> I think we'll be all right. Celica's superheroes are well and truly equipped to do this. <laughs> so let's get out of here. An enemy Cantor appeared. Okay, cool. Well, I'm not going to uh, do anything more there because I also have a fortress with Alm to check out. Let's head into the Desay Fortress interior. More talking. Say Alm? This may sound a bit strange, but you've changed lately. No, I haven't. Shut up, Tobin. Put your right arm down. It's been a while since I told you that. Well, not changed. It's more like you've sort of found yourself. I'd never have known in Ram Village, but when you get in front of people, you become larger than life. Is that the right expression? There are certain types that just swell when they're talking to a crowd. They just, they just put out that exuberance. Anyway, you command a lot more attention than you used to. Thanks, Tobin. Rion Shield? No, I ain't seen it. But I hear that Desai sold off some of his plunder to Greeth. Do I have to send the Rion Shield to all? Because he's the one that was looking for Rion, and then I gotta send the one, one that I find back to Celica? Maybe? Because that would be interesting. I just gotta know it's what I gotta do. Cool, so another steel lance. Painting. This is pretty impressive. Great commentary. <laughs> Must be easy to furnish a castle when you plunder most of it. It's, it's fair, that's true. Not usually much for art, but this is really nice. We got some honey. And... Nothing else, all right. To the war room, where we have another fat merchant man. Cool. Let's talk to the Alessio! Is this the guy from the port too? What a mess I've gotten myself in. You see, Chancellor to say asked me to procure him a coral ring. It is. But what happened when I acquired the coral shards and crafted the ring? The damn deliverance came along and killed the buyer. I sunk all I had to this coral ring. If I don't sell it, I'll be ruined. And say, do you want a coral ring? It's crafted from the finest coral fragments a merchants can scrounge up? Since you seem woefully poor, hmm. Well, I'll cut you a deal and part with the ring for a mere 30 silver marks. 
I... Sure, why not? I mean, silver's not that hard to come by right now, and 30's not a lot. Then we have a deal, and thank the mother we do, now I can finally go home. Yeah, because it, it might give me some good stuff. Your renown? Oh, right, and the renown. That on its own is probably worth the, uh, the silver. More cheese for the man at the castle, plus I have heard that, um... The, uh, the wine and the ale and stuff, since you can't use it in combat, its main purpose is just to sell off for silver marks. So I'll make that money back. Another cog for the turn wheel, a silver per- Did that man just take 30 for me and ignore the purse of a hundred sitting right next to him? Literally right next to him? It's not a very smart merchant. Bookshelves, books on politics, magic, a couple of sagas. This is quite the collection. Uh, an elaborate chest. Whoa, look at this. Hey, Om. This ought to have some good goodies in it. <laughs> you find something, Tobin? I sure did. Feast your eyes on this, baby. You think this is the treasure Desay stole from Sophia Castle? I imagine he stole a lot more than one chest, but it could be something. Well, it certainly looks important. Should we open it? Yeah. He's already just Whoa, spilled it all over the place. The sword. That is one impressive piece of hardware. I'm just gonna... Did you yoink? Huh? <laughs> oh, this thing weighs a ton! Interesting. It won't budge. This must be the royal sword of Sophia. Oh yeah, I forgot Luke's still with us. What's that? <laughs> Long ago, Regal presented this sword to Sophia as a symbol of friendship. Oh, I do remember hearing a little bit about this. It's a very special treasure. Only one of royal blood can lift it. Hmm. Interesting. Here, Tobin. Let me have a go. I was just wondering if he was going to think about it. He can't think he's of royal blood, but I bet he'll be able to lift it, and I bet that mark has something to do with it. You, please. If I can't lift it, there's no way that... Huh? Sometimes I don't get you, Tobin. <laughs> this thing's light as a feather. Yep. Alm's a prince, boy. Was this all some kind of jape? Who put you up to this? Lucas just told you what its deal was. But, but it wasn't a jape. <laughs> Zero japes. <laughs> Title for this episode, Zero Japes. <laughs> I thought my arms would snap just trying to lift it. Hmm. But that means, by the gods, you can wield the royal sword. And this was totally optional? I didn't have to come here? Hmm. What does that mean? <laughs> Put two and two together, Lucas. Um, are you... <sighs> oh, come on. It's just some legend. You don't actually believe it, right? I'm sure everyone can use this thing. <laughs> well, except Tobin. And, um... I would give it to you to try to lift, but you barely have functional use of your hands. <laughs> Look, I'm sure the Zophian Royals made up a story to keep folks from nicking it. Well, that didn't exactly work out now, did it? But perhaps you're right. Tails do have a habit of getting taller with time. Either way, it seems clear the blade belongs with you. Are you sure? Sure, it's it's I nice. Mean, we could have other people give it a shot. I'll I'll take it. it. Wouldn't work. You alone seem able to tame this legend, and we wouldn't want to see so fine a treasure wasted, would we? I'm cool with a new weapon. Take it. Well, all right. If it's a strong one, Alm could use some levels for catch up. Got the royal sword. Awesome. And it looks like there's also an exotic spice over here. Probably gonna need that for a side quest, so I'm not gonna sell that quite yet. Nice, I suppose, if the painting is your thing. Cool. To the dungeon. And once I'm in the done in the dungeon, I'll check out what else. Oh, right! That's what we came in here for. Matilda. Clive's replacement. I'm not dead. Shut up, Clive! <laughs> uh, examine. Let's take a look around first. Ooh. More wine to sell. Table for the guards to drink and play cards, I'd imagine. Wouldn't that suck, being a guard in a prison in this in this time? Like, your whole job is to just sit in a dank room and just make sure people don't escape. You just sit at the table. <laughs> oh, that would be awful. Just the worst. Hey, Matilda. Matilda! <laughs> Damn it, Clive. 
You're just like Tobin. I told you to wait outside. Uh, Clive! <laughs> oh, how I have missed you, my sweet Clive. Matilda is much more ornate than Clive is. Plus, she was already a paladin, and Clive was a cavalier. I think she's just a little bit better than him. Forgive me, Matilda. I should never have left you to suffer for so long. Speak now your loathing for me, and I will gladly bear it all. It's a bit of a sub. <laughs> oh, stop your nonsense. You did what any commander ought. Your judgment was sound. And I bear the blame for my capture, not you. I was careless. See, she's already got a cape on her drawing. So let us speak no more of blame. As you wish. Good. Now, I wonder what comes next. What indeed? Uh... <laughs> Why is he super blushy? Um, are, are you getting taken in by that armor cleave? By that little, little bit of armor cleave? What a woman! <laughs> Yowza! Um, um, you're blushing. I think he is. <laughs> what? No, I'm not. <laughs> huh, you must be Alm. Um. <laughs> uh, yes, m'lady. I would not be alive if not for your fine leadership. I thank you from the bottom of my heart, Alm. Um. And with your permission, I wish to take up arms at your side. Yes! I mean, sorry, finish your sentence. <laughs> Will you have me? <laughs> Who would ever say no? I saw Fernand. He visited me in my cell the other day. It must be some kind of like super challenge run to only get through this game with like the bare minimums and say no to everyone else. <laughs> I see. Then you know what has transpired. Yes. It feels like a different age when the three of us started the deliverance. Though we were once brethren, we now must come to blows. Nah, he's a dick anyways. I wish I could stand by my choices, unwavering. I have always done what I thought to be right, even when my heart disagreed. But now, I must face cold reality. What do you mean? I may have made a terrible error. <laughs> He's a manipulative dick, too. He's put the seed of doubt in Clive's mind. Huh? What are you talking about? Also, Clive, were you aware that there's a royal sword and I can totally lift it? <laughs> Here, catch. <laughs> oh, no. No, no, no. We're not going down that old road now. Don't you dare say that making all the Deliverance his leader was a mistake. We've been through way too much to start in with second guessing now. Gandalf makes a good point. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know you lost it to your friend and that you're hurting. By the way, this would have been way better if Tobin had no more lines and just said, yeah, <laughs> next people. But don't take it out on Alm. He's been doing as good a job as anyone. Would you all please calm down? But Alm! Clive is clearly privy to some information he can't share with us. Am I right, Clive? Alm, please. You've been acting strange for a while now. Whatever secret you're harboring, I know it weighs heavy on you. I've been scared to broach the subject because I could sense it was about me. <laughs> but if nothing else, I want you to know this. I will always be grateful for the trust you have placed in me. And that's that's just twisting whatever's stuck in Clive's back right now. <laughs> and I will be honored for each moment I can fight for the deliverance. You know, a friend once confronted me about this. She wanted to know why a nobody like me would risk so much to fight. The answer was... I just wanted to make a difference in people's lives. I had to leave Ram Village. It was just a matter of when. When Lucas came to the village, that was my when. Don't you see? Every one of you has set my life moving in ways I never imagined. Jokes have stopped. I like, I like moments like this. I want to repay that kindness. Clive, Lucas, Matilda, let me help you. Let me help Fernand. Fernand? But he has insulted you at every step. Oh, I'm well aware. And I can't claim to understand his motivations for all of that. But he helped you and Matilda found the deliverance, didn't he? He's part of the reason we've come this far. So he deserves my respect. No matter how he's treated me in the past. That is a real big man position to take. <laughs> that, that's, that's why he's a leader material. Most people would not be that big a man. If he returns to the deliverance... I'll gladly welcome him back. You would do such? I cannot speak for Fernand, but thank you, Alm. And he just might do it once he knows that we're in secret royalty. <laughs> All right, let's check out this uh, this royal sword. Also, <laughs> this is so good. Level one. 
with five double digit stats. God, it's so good. Forsyth has nothing on that, and he, he's like a good, a, a, a good, um, knight. Claire's got nothing on that. She's the blessed one. <laughs> I guess Tobin's the closest with four. Yeah, Python. Ugh, Python. Python, Python, Python. You gotta be doing better than this. Whatever. I already knew everybody here was cursed. Um, Convoy. The Royal Sword is empty of six. Hit of 90. So it's an iron sword with four more damage on it and crit. Wowzers. That's a powerful thing. And since I do want Alm to be getting experience now, I think I'm gonna swap him in the royal sword. There's a lot of skills on that. He can just work on them for a while. Plus that frees up the lightning sword for someone else. Okay, so I think we are just about done with this. And an enemy Myrmidon appeared. Okay. Well, with all of that done, and we've checked out uh, like two little forts, like got an idea of uh, like a little bit more story development. I'm not sure who I'm going to do next now, because it... Yeah. I think that they've, like, about evened out, but it looks like... Alm has, like, a straight shot to his, uh, his end of the act, whereas Celica still has to wrap up grief. Uh, before she has her straight shot. So maybe I'll do uh, a Selic about next, but you know what? That's for next time. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Remember to hit the like button down below. Consider subscribing if you've not already. Share it out with anybody else you know who likes Fire Emblem or who likes tactics. If this video can get up to 10 likes, I will release another one immediately tomorrow. And I'll catch all of you in the next episode. Bye-bye.